Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming. You're bringing another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best Uzi class setup that I have seen so far um, in Modern Warfare. Um, the reason that this is the best is it takes advantages of the strengths that I've noticed the Uzi has. It doesn't really get rid of any of the or worsen any of the disadvantages or worsen any of the um worsen worsen any of the advantages but it makes uh the disadvantages better and some of the advantages better um so let's go ahead and get into it the first thing that you're gonna need 8.5 factory mini um aim down sp sight speed and movement speed uh are better and then bullet velocity and recoil control get a little bit worse not really much not very noticeable and then if you look here, recoil stabilization and aiming stability increase, um, and then that gets rid of just a tiny bit of mobility, which uh, you actually get more from the 8.5 mini. Um, you then have the .41 AE 32 round mags, just to get a little more damage. Um, I've noticed that this damage is actually pretty noticeable. If you take this off, um, I've noticed that you kill, in my opinion, from what I've noticed, way slower. Um, it also adds a little bit of range, but the main thing that it adds is the damage, which makes a huge difference um, from what I've seen. Even the mo uh, monolithic suppressor, which I use on almost every uh, gun, doesn't come close to as fast as this kills. Um, next up is the attack laser. Um, it is visible to the enemies, which um, isn't uh, great, but you aim down sights faster, you uh, have more stable aiming, you... Um, have more aim walking steadiness. So basically your your aiming is going to be way better um, In every regard you're going to be able to aim faster aim um, more accurately and aim and or aim and walk faster aim and uh, Be more stable and then aim faster as well as have a little bit more hip fire control And then finally we have no stock for faster movement speed and faster aim down sight speed for uh, less aiming stability and less recoil control which is the main reason that we want to use the attack laser here we could use one of these um, too for better hip fire accuracy or better hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed but with this you get a little more aiming stability which you lose a little bit of um, in here um, which you don't really uh, get the aiming control down in here, but you get the aiming stability, which makes it a little less noticeable. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Um, if you want to see here, this is just my uh, X16, which I'm actually using the wrong one. Um, Akimbo with trigger action. Sorry, I forgot to make, or I thought that I already had this ready. Didn't forget it. I just forgot, or I thought that I already had it. Uh, monolithic suppressor ammunition and laser um and then i also have scavenger hardline and amped so that i can switch weapons faster um actually yeah i'll use that so um i have scavenger hardline and tune up so i get ammo back for kills um it takes one less kill to get uh the score streaks and then my um my ability comes in 40% uh, faster, um, which with stopping power is amazing. Um, I also have C4 and stun, and uh, for my uh, field upgrade, I am using stopping power, but I'm thinking I might switch it. Um, no, I'll keep stopping power. Actually, I'll do a resupply uh, dead silence, because um, I'm not really going to need the resupply with scavenger. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and do some TDM and um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do some do dirty old boathouse um, in core just to get um, the feel for the closer range maps. Um, preferably, I get shipment, but I don't know. Shipment? Oh. It is black. Uh, or it's. It it is black. It is a black screen, so I don't know if I'll actually get it. Uh, but let's find out. Domination shipment. Let's go. Usually, when I get a black screen, it means, oh, hey, you have played this recently, but that's not actually what you're gonna be getting. Haha, <laughs> got him. Um, I think after this, I will use the Finnick and then um, or level up the Finnick and then maybe uh, show you guys a class setup on that because I do need to do a class setup on that. But um, 
Oh, I'm gonna oh. do the ramp up. Attack those positions. They're falling behind. Domination. Putting in late. Capture and defend the objective. Round car, stand by. Securing Bravo. Ah. Allied UAV overhead. Securing Charlie. Ah. We capture yeah. Charlie. Oh, no, I didn't for fly over. Okay, cruise missile already. That's four kills for the like, point. Get back. Don't you? Nope, okay. Caught camping. The only bad thing really about this is that you do run around out of ammo pretty quickly because you only have to do rounds in the mag. It sucks. With B, the Q, okay. I'm gonna dodge quickly. Yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed it there. I'm sure you did, but that killed me extremely quickly. I didn't notice it's like a Enemy if you notice it's like a two shot kill, that's a three shot that usually usually, usually comes with. Um, which that one shot less, especially with the speed of the Securing Bravo. Securing As well as the fact that it increases the range or the, the range the range a little bit. Oh. They have two. I don't want the aiming outside speed. Um, I I mostly like the aiming outside speed because if you are getting um, like jumped on, basically the enemy has you are you over there. Uh, you can quickly aim and react uh, really quickly. And a lot of times you can actually shoot them before you realize that you are even there. Like they'll know that you're there, but maybe they don't know where you are. You kill them before they even notice where exactly you're at. Just something that I've noticed a little bit with this class. Um, I, I'm not using the model for shit on this. Overhead. We've got Bravo. Go. Um, go even the even the uh, hip fire is really bad because of the attack laser. So the attack laser is probably the second most important alpha. attachment I would say on this um, because not only are you getting that sight, you're also getting the uh, hip fire accuracy with it as well. Um, I'd say. I can't say, yeah, I can't say, uh, exactly like the third most important, because, uh, I'd say the second most important is stock, and the most important is probably this, um, bag of the third two, uh, round bag, um, with, so, a little bit more damage, because while you are using a little bit of ammo, um, uh, you're actually doing more, uh, damage, with so, I've noticed it. It's really noticeable. Um, and, uh, it, maybe it's not a two shot. Whoa! I figured out for Okay, yeah. I don't think it might actually be a two shot. I thought it was a two shot, but maybe not. Oh, Maybe just because it's, uh, something else. But I want to get these guys back. Securing Bravo. You're needed at Charlie. Enemy has Charlie. If you wanted to switch out the, uh, secondary with, like, a rock block or something so that you could destroy streaks, that's what that you could do that. Um, I could use the new build, uh, XTs, but I know I can get pretty easy kills with them. That. Um, Losing out. Which, 
something. I like uh, with my secondaries, I like to be able to get kills with them. I We're falling behind. No. Lost A. Boom, got him. Oh, yeah, close. And that was it. So, capture. We captured Alpha. You saw there, he got the first shot. Still. You're needed at B. Kill with him. Securing C. We lost, but. 30 kills. Fall back. It wasn't we will See if I can get play the game though. No, I can't. But 30 kills wasn't terrible. At least I was in the play of the game. 30 and 27 though, so I did die a pretty good amount of times. But again, th or I don't know if I've heard to say this, but really these videos are just for the class setups to show you what I'm using and what I really like because. Um, I like to kind of experiment with, with uh, guns that I know are good already, um, and just make them better. Uh, but this is a really good class setup. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys this again in case you didn't see it um, at the beginning or you don't want to uh, rewind it. Maybe uh, here's the class setup, and then here's the secondary, which is just an akimbo, um, an akimbo X16. And then here's the perks, scavenger, hardline, and tune-up, C4, and stem. Of course, you can switch uh, these two out, um, but I would recommend keeping stem because, um, in especially in hardcore, you're going to need it, but if you're playing core, which I would recommend for this class setup because um, the Uzi performs its best in core by a long shot um, because you can't get one shot in it, um, I would use the stem as well, um, but I would... Uh, you can switch out the C4 if you don't really feel comfortable with it. You can use anything else, um, except for Clamars. You can't use Clamars. That's not, around. That, that's not allowed here. I'm joking. But you can use anything else if you want to. Um, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. Tell me if this class setup works, worked out for you. Um, the Uzi is a really good gun by itself, but especially with all these, uh, especially with all these attachments, it is extraordinarily good. If there was something to add more attachments to a gun, then I would use that. But um, kill streaks gone. Kill streak kills count towards the next score streak only applies in this life. Not effective when specialist. I don't know what that means. Oh. I want that. Oh, but if, uh, I don't know. I might make a uh, kill streak oriented class setup in the next or uh, for a next video or a video later. Um, I'm gonna do the or actually I'm gonna do the Finnick in the next video. But in a later video, I might do a kill streak uh, oriented class setup where basically the guns don't matter as much. Um, but I'll set up perks and I'll set up certain uh, lethals. I'll probably will do uh, the primary and secondary because you guys can figure out the perks by yourself. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please do consider subscribing down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.